good morning wrestling fans today is sunday february 5th 2023 last night nxt vengeance day was live on peacock and the wwe network live from charlotte north carolina I did not do 360 Wrestling Fanatic last night. So that means on this episode of GMWF, I'm going to do just a quick recap of last night's Vengeance Day. And we start things off in a match for the NXT North American Championship. Dijak taking on Wes Lee. Wes Lee retains in this one defeating Dijak. And an okay match to open up the show. And I just want to say a nasty injury to Dijak's finger. If you haven't seen yet on his Instagram, I know there's a picture posted and some other Instagram pages of his finger. I'm not quite sure what happened to it as of right now, but it is pretty nasty looking. If you don't follow Dijek on Instagram, uh, go to his page and take a look at that picture of his finger. That definitely doesn't look like it felt too good. Not a good way to spend a Saturday night, that's for sure. The NXT Women's Tag Team Championships are on the line. And... Raylan Henley defeat Caden Carter and Katina Katana Chance to win the titles when little interference or and uh, they, I know they had those uh, Creed boys or Creed brothers in their corner eh, this one was just kind of Okay. Next up, two out of three falls. Carmelo Hayes and Apollo Cruz. And Carmelo Hayes wins this one. Two straight falls, actually. And then after the match, we see the return of Commander Aziz now back as going as Daba Kato once again and he attacks Apollo Cruz post the match if you remember the time that Apollo Cruz was on the main roster when they turned him heel and they had him using the accent and everything. He was aligned with Commander Aziz. But now it looks like they're going to have the two feuding in NXT. The NXT championships are on the line in a fatal four-way with the champions the New Day defending against Pretty Deadly at Chase University and Gallus and it is Gallus getting the win and this match was just also kind of okay I don't know if there was anything real special so now that the New Day have dropped 
the NXT Tag Team Championships. I am not sure if we'll be seeing them in NXT anymore or if now they will just stick to the main roster. I am guessing uh, they'll just be on the main roster for now. Now that they have dropped the titles, but who knows? The NX now we get to the two semi main events, or at least the two matches that were built to be more of the main event matches for the NXT Women's Championship. We have a triple threat match the champion Roxanne Perez taking on Gigi Dolan and JC Jane Toxic Attraction. I know some people were speculating that maybe we could see the return of Mandy Rose, but that did not happen. And Roxanne Perez successfully defends her championship. There were a little bit of differences between Toxic Attraction last night, but I'm going to say nothing real serious. Um, they did uh, kind of argue a little bit, have some words. Good to see Roxanne Perez doing successful. I was a fan of her when she was Roxy in Ring of Honor as the Ring of Honor Women's Champion. I remember the first match for that championship. Her and Miranda Alizé had a really good match. And I think she's going to be on NXT for at least a little more while. But I think she could definitely have some success on the main roster, though. When they ever do decide to call her up. And Booker T, you can tell he's always a proud of proud of her. Uh, trained at his school, the reality of wrestling. And now it is time for the main event. The NXT Championship on the line in a steel cage match. And it is the champion, Braun Breaker, taking on Grayson Waller. Waller jumps Breaker on, outs- on the outside of the ring to get this one started. But then they do eventually get into the ring, into the cage, I should say. And this one actually is a pretty good match, match of the night, in my opinion, definitely. And the finish sees Braun Breaker dominating Waller. And then he hits him with a big spear to get the pin and to retain the NXT Championship. So still NXT Champion Braun Breaker coming out of Vengeance Day. As I mentioned about Roxanne, that I think, I don't think they should yet, but when they do call Braun Breaker up to the main roster either Raw or Smackdown I think that he could have a good run on either show I think though he's going to be on NXT at least for a little longer anyway though But I'm sure eventually I definitely see him getting called up to the main roster. I would say probably before the end of the year. In my opinion. When exactly, I'm not sure. But if I had to take a guess, I'd probably say that would probably be before the end of 2023 though. So that was NXT Vengeance Day. Uh, Kind of a quick recap of it. Since I didn't do a episode 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Hopefully I'll stop being lazy 
and do more episodes of Wrestling Fanatic soon. But overall, I thought this show was just kind of meh. It was just okay. I wouldn't say it was a bad show or anything, but just I didn't think it was really that great either. Nothing really stood out to me that much. I didn't mention it, but Charlotte Flair was in the opening video package. And I just, I talked about this on that right now, out of all the wrestling TV shows, I would say NXT is the one that probably I have the least amount of interest in. And it has improved from not too long ago when it was labeled as NXT 2.0. It has gotten better, but still not that great. At least I don't think so anyway. And this is uh, probably an unpopular opinion with all the internet wrestling fans, but I don't definitely don't think NXT is really that great right now. Not what it once was. But who knows? Maybe other fans love it and think it's great still. So that was today's episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans. Thank you everyone for tuning in this morning. We'll be back tomorrow for Monday's episode. Hope everyone has a great Sunday today. And as always, keep watching pro wrestling.